Hi, Schooner007 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Yu Yu Hakusho Tournament Tactics. I'm just for some strange reason. Hmm. Yeah, that went too far. Let's let's eliminate this guy right here. Well, can't eliminate him yet. I know you skate can with the kick. Yeah, that kick is powerful. He's down. And we'll have Yukina use her overdrive on this guy. Huh. 44. <laughs> and there's a uh, hundred and... Same thing, we're just gonna the seed and now we gotta focus if I can get yeah let's attack this guy here Crowbar can attack him for the kill. Ah, oh. let's see. Yeah, let's heal. Yukina's doing a nice job of staying around. And same with Kobar, we'll use the long spirit short. Uh, 
Oh wait, because we gotta catch up to that guy. Rose with pin and And they healed. Not that I like that. I hate when they heal. Alright, New Kina will attack that guy. She's still got some hit points left. Let's see. Ah, uh, yeah, that's. Let's attack this one. And those guys aren't moving, so. Well, eliminate that guy! We really don't need to be eliminating people, be but, you know, sometimes we have to fight them to get to our goal. And yeah, that's true. I can't even do anything with Yusuke, because he has so low <laughs> spirit energy, but... Yeah. And we'll have her heal that. Actually, let's use the overdrive. Spirit gun double on that. There we go. Sure way of winning. Spirit gun double. Yusuke doesn't level up. Kurama doesn't level up. Mass Fighter doesn't level up. Yukina is the only one that levels up. And I'm going to increase her power on that. So that ends that. Everyone is back up to full strength. So for this one, we're going to use Yusuke, Korobar, Chu, Hiei, and Kurama in the fifth position. So let's get started on this map. I really want to level up, get... And we'll start this off like this. And we have a lot as you can tell, so... I'll try to fit this map in as well in the video. Well, let's find out. So let's. It only has low HP, 87. And this is a destroy all enemies. I want to see if I can hit that guy with choose a spirit ball tank. No, I can't. So we'll just move chew up. <laughs> no, 
not enough to kill it. And he killed his own guy. And we'll use Darkness Sword on him. Yeah, I love that. That's choose, I think, choose a signature attack. And we'll just focus on Kurama's spirit energy, getting back up to full. Anyway, I do apologize, you know, that I've been. You know, I've not been updating on this one recently because I was so close to finishing up Symphony of the Night. I wanted to get that one out of the way done. And it fired some toxic goo. Yeah. But don't worry, I do have the bonus videos work. I'm going to be working on that. And he's not very in spirit gun range. So. Let's move in. Let's move it into spirit. Actually, let's use the overdrive. We are at full, so. Yeah. At full, it only does. The overdrive only does 80. Uh, the overdrive is basically like a more powerful attack on the. Of the the standard attack of itself, so and this guy gets that mega glunk on him. And another one down. So, actually, let's use the spirit. Oh, spirit combo can only be used close by. Yeah, that's only down for the spirit thing can only be used close by, so let's have Corbar take out the Minotaur. And then we still have Minotaurs left. And Yusuke takes some damage, but we'll have Corbar just Stay where he is and get him back up to full. He's in no danger yet. Yusuke is basically my ranged guy, so. Same attack he's been using the darkness flame. On him and there's four left and I still have all my party members. Which is actually a good thing, so yeah, let's move. Basically, there's nothing, there's no time limit, so 
it's not one of those timed maps, you know, where we had to complete it by a certain time. So I'm just gonna get yeah, let them reheal the spirit energy and basically Kobar can't move. Sure, you need to move. There we go, and yes, we can attack that with the spirit ball. Nice ranged attack. That's what I like about it. And it missed. And we'll just have you call bar away right there. This one is a bit use case. And we'll have you just get moved there. This way I can get like here in there or Corbar over there to attack him. We'll use the double spirit sword on him. Good night, I only got 25 and he's done. A lot better than a lot of my other takes. I spent like majority about a couple days ago trying to get this and I kept dying on this map. So that's mend. Mending is probably more important for you here. And don't. Yeah, we're gonna move Chu all the way out of danger and we'll have him heal. Don't want anything to happen to him. And let's have him use the spirit combo on the sky. Nice 75 points of damage. And let's have him heal. No immediate he's not in immediate danger, but you know, don't want anything to happen to Korobar. Now my favorite character, Kurama, we use the Rose Whip on him. He just walked right up in the danger. That's what I like about him. And so do I have enough to... No, I don't. So let's charge our spirit energy. And he healed. Alright, let's take care of this. Hundred and six the ghosts have. Eh, he died again. I gotta find a way to keep him from. He's gonna be like the lowest level member. We're down to one. Uh, 
And we'll just attack that. And it's not dead yet, so we'll finish that up. And, uh, we'll call this a map. Twelve. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll bring Kiei back in the next one. So we don't have him under-leveled. USK leveled up. Korobara leveled up. Chudin here was defeated. Karana leveled up. So uh, basically, everyone leveled up. We're going to increase his Yusuke's movement. Let's see what we can increase on Korobara. Spirit energy, movement. Let's increase his movement. And for Kurama, definitely the offense. And we get a new attack, the Thorn Wheel. On that. Alright, so, until next time when we see Team Yorimeshi, Yusuke Yorimeshi battle his way through the dark tournament maps here. I'm Scrooney007 signing out, and this has been a let's the next part in Yu Yu Hakusho tournament tactics. Take care, everybody. Bye bye.